J drawn here. What's going on, guys? So we got this Potensic drawn. I've gutted it. There's nothing but the wires to the motors left. Um, here's the camera. A little look at the camera that was inside of it. The board is here somewhere. The board is over here. Uh, and all my screws and everything are in there. We're going to see if we can uh, make it jumpable by taking a 010's board and putting it in there, connecting the motors, and it should be that simple. Then, if it flies really well on this, um, with that board in there, we might throw a FPV camera in it and have a larger whoop. Uh, the drone itself was an okay drone. It wasn't super great, but it was an okay drone, so we figure uh, we'll try to turn it up a little bit with a different board. All right, I got one motor wired up, so we're going to turn on the jumper here. And flight controller went solid. Bam! So that's working. We're going to get the other four wired up. All right, guys, all the motors are wired up. Um, what I've done, I've put a little bit of a heat shrink on each of them, the positives and the negatives, you could see. And I like to press them. I like to heat them, and then press them hurts my fingers just a little bit, but it makes sure the wires are definitely not going to come apart. Um, we have this bound. I'm just going to go ahead and lift up. As you can see, it went up. I'm only working with one hand here. Um, so I'll try to do that a little bit better for you guys. Let's see. Focus there. Uh, maybe try to pan out this way. And maybe also calibrate the gyroscope. As you can see, it definitely flies. Um, we're going to need to get two hands on this. I need to figure out a battery bake. And then uh, we'll be good to go. All right, guys, finished product. So you can see that brace that goes over top of it. Um, it does screw in, as you can see there. And then we do have this wired. You can see the red wire there that gets fed all the way back here, right into there. You can see my solder points on the opposite side of that. You see the little black mark there because we are using a lossy connection. That way I can connect and without uh, frying this. Uh, we're gonna give this a flight using the FXT goggles and we are also using the T16 controller. So here we go, we are using the T16. I will tell you and you'll see it. I mean, eventually we'll get it, but you see I'm banging into all types of things. I'm a better FPV flyer than this. Uh, I will say I'm a little bit rusty. I've been flying in open space. Now, the T16, as soon as we crash, we'll get to it. Bam. Let's retake off. The T16 is a very sensitive controller. It is on point. Well, if it's sensitive and on point, why aren't you able to fly really well with it? Because it's not forgiving, if that makes any types of, type of sense. It is so precise that I'm rusty. I'm definitely rusty. I've been flying out in open air and not really doing the whoop thing inside. I've been flying the trash can outside. Um, Ishin Wizard 4S uh, drone just blazing around. And really haven't been flying precision flight like we do with whoops. So it's taking me a little bit just to gauge the controls. This right here will be a little bit longer of a flight. Um, this right here, I'm kind of getting the bearings, kind of getting a feel for it. Uh, it's, it's a good controller. I'm not knocking the controller at all. Please don't misconstrue that. It's me. <laughs> um, the T8SG is a smaller controller. It has hall gimbals. The hall gimbals are extremely smooth, but I believe the range on the hall gimbals, um, on the jumper are different than the range on the T12 or the T16 that I'm using the T16. And the sensitivity is greater on the T16. I think the T8SG Plus is a little bit more forgiving. But all right, enough with the controller. We are flying here. Dude, this, this mod was epic. My SEMA mod was not good. My, my strip the SEMA down and put it on a smaller frame was not good at all. This was essentially gut the flight controller, take the camera out of it, trim the frame up a little bit, throw a AIO, AIO. Hey, uh oh, if you've been with me for a while, you're probably singing with me. Bam, and uh, we, dude, I just got an order of uh, AKK AIOs, and I ordered uh, four of them. I ordered three 25 milliwatts, and I ordered one 200 milliwatt switchable. And uh, we have a 25 milliwatt on here. If you want to check uh, out AKK's camera lineup down below, I will link one or two of them. Uh, they're my absolute favorite. They, they've never uh, done me any wrong. So right now, I saw the gap. I saw the gap. We didn't flake. We're still in control. I saw the gap. <laughs> and you're going to see that I saw the gap because we're going to try to hit that gap multiple times. And unfortunately, 
we were unable to successfully exit the gap throughout this entire video. The struggle is real. Um, but dude, the controller... I, I want to get this drone out and open. Again, that's kind of what I've been flying. And it's a little bit larger than your B-Whoops. It's a little bit larger than your trash can. It's a little bit larger than your 010s. So inside it's creating a lot of suction when it's against stuff if you if you've ever flown inside if you get close to something it creates suction where it kind of like pulls against the wall or pulls against something so uh, that's not in my favor either i got a couple things not going in my favor here uh, rusty on the indoor fpv flight a really sensitive controller which is great especially for for precision flying um but you gotta not be rusty with it you gotta not be rusty with it and as you can see we are bogging here these guys are getting uh, getting little little look at the ground what's on the ground some rc cars uh, other drones and uh that bang toys x16 uh which uh I want to like, but it never flew right for me, and I never even tried to fix it. Bam, we got a Hubson right there. Um, that's 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 being that's the blockade, man. That's the blockade. So if you've been looking at your stopwatch here, um, this mod, dude, I'm getting more flight time with this mod than we did with the original stock battery. Um, I'm getting more flight time with this mod than you will with a standard whoop and it, this is larger than a whoop um i'm seeing close to seven minute flight time uh on this battery that i'm using i'm using jjrc 600 milliamp an hour battery and uh seven minutes fpv despite the fact we're flaking here we're trying for that gap um seven minutes fpv in the goggles on a whoop despite the fact it's larger is epic this mod was a hundred percent successful i highly suggest to anybody to do it it was simple it was uh snip the wires off of the stock board trying for that gap trying for that gap snip the wires off the stock board take a zero one zeros board put it in it run the wires if you're not going to solder run the wires to the wires on the zero one zero snip the front snip the back put bolt bees controller um put an aio in it and uh there you go that's it and you can see my frustrations there with my hands in there like come on um i'm a pretty good dude i i've gone through smaller gaps than that dude. I, with the with the armor 85 drone um i went through smaller gaps with that when uh, i was out on my birthday in that hotel mjx uh bugs 5 controller <laughs> Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Uh, the whole reason I do this is to show you guys. If you're not happy with the drone that you have, if you want to get a little bit more out of it, you can definitely do so, and it's not going to cost you hardly anything. For me, I had a 010. That didn't cost me anything. And then uh, the AIO, I think we're looking at like $12. Later.